Hey everyone, we are back with our plotting series. In this one, I'm going to really hone in on the customization of the lines and the markers that you use when plotting. Remember that we have two elements on our graph right now. We have these dashed lines, and that's a considered a line element. And then we also have the individual data points, and these are called markers by MATLAB. And we can customize these a lot more than just changing their color and shape. And you'll notice the first thing we might want to do is fill in these markers, which are currently hollow or empty. To do that, we have to add more arguments to our plotting commands. Let's start up here with our black diamonds. If we want to fill these in, we'll do marker face color. And then the value we want to set marker face color to, which would be black. So basically we're telling MATLAB to plot X and Y as black diamonds, and then we're saying make the marker face color black. So making those diamonds black. And you'll see now that these are filled in as such. Let's do a similar approach for the blue triangles, setting that to blue and plotting them. Now you might be wondering, well, can we change the edge of the markers to be a different color? Absolutely. Let's change the edge marker edge color to red and plot that. A little bit hard to see, but if we zoom in here, these individual markers now have a red edge. I'm going to remove that for now. Let's increase the marker size. So how big of the diamonds or the triangles that we're plotting. To do that, you simply add marker size and then you add a number which indicates the size. Let's start with five to see how big these are. Not much of a change here. The default might be around there. Let's try this to 15. And now we, oh my gosh, now we actually see this making a big change here. We can probably turn this down a bit. This is all about just your trial and error to get the size that you want on your plots. Let's add this to the black markers as well. And there we have some larger markers on our plots. For changing the size of the lines, basically we can only make them thicker. And so we're going to give the line width command. Similarly, we're gonna add it to our plots, but we're gonna do it to the line plot that we make here. So I'll do line width and then an integer value. And there we see these black lines have become much thicker. We can see this a little bit better if we just do a single line and you can see the thickness showing there. Again, if you want to find more of these items that you can customize, the best way to do it is here. Look, right here they're using line width, marker edge color, marker face color, and marker size. There are probably some other attributes that you can change as well. And these are called attributes, just for clarification, because you're changing attributes to the elements that you're plotting. As a final note, right now we're doing two separate commands for these plots, but we can actually combine them into one. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to remove the black single line here and add it up into this line here. And we just need to add one more argument to the start. So now this text string becomes really important. So now it's saying that we want to plot a line with black diamonds. We could also do a double dash line with black diamonds. Let's see how this looks. Now the line is back to normal here and we have an extra legend entry. We would need to remove this because we're only plotting three things anymore, right? Three plotting commands and the legend takes commands per each of these plotting commands. 
three planning commands, three legend entries. Go ahead and try to combine the blue diamonds into one command. And you can do that really simply by just adding a dash dash there and then running as well. And don't forget to remove your extra legend entry. Note that you still have access to changing things like line width. We can show you that here. And there you go, large line widths for the line that we just plotted. That's basically it for this extreme customization. There's always more that you can do. Check out the documentation on matlab.com, but this covers a lot of the basics and honestly a majority of the stuff that I ever need to do when making customization with my MATLAB plots. See you in the next video.